Before even downloading Blender, it may be confusing of which version you should download, so knowing the benefits and downsides of each one are important. The first version of Blender to consider is the alpha version. This is the most recent one to have been released and is in early development, which contains new features and improvements of older versions. But because of how new it is, it is crucial to acknowledge that it will also bring with it new bugs. For those who do not know what the term bug means, it is when the features do not work the way it is intended. These bugs can cause Blender to crash more frequently, which is why this version is often used to experiment with the new features and are not commonly used for larger projects. The advantage though is that you're able to test the new features early, which will help push your 3D work further as it gives you time to learn how and when it can be used. And just because it is in early development does not mean you cannot use it for more contained projects. You just need to be aware that you need to save your work more frequently to prevent losing the work that you're making. The next one to consider is the beta version. This is similar to the alpha one, except the features have had more time to be polished, which can reduce the amount of bugs you may find and also improves the performance of the feature. This is not the final edition as it still requires more time to fix the few issues that are still remaining but works much better than the alpha version. So the Blender versions labeled stable are the polished versions which lack the new features in the alpha and beta versions, but are without many of the bugs present in those previous ones I've mentioned. This makes it more reliable for larger projects and as the beta versions are finished, there will be made available a stable version of it. But there is a delay, which means that you'll lag behind in knowledge of how to use the new feature. This is not necessarily a bad thing, as it enables Blender educators to publish videos that can help you advance quicker than if you were left to mess around with it. The simple way to explain the numbers you can see next to the versions is the build number. As the software is developed further, the numbers will increase based on the new release. You also have the ability to download the older versions of Blender, which can sometimes be more stable than the newer versions. Finally, if you are like me and want the newest stable version downloaded, but don't want the hassle of installing and uninstalling versions, you can download Blender through Steam. This will allow for the software to automatically update each time without having to think about it. The only downside is with the new versions, they can sometimes bring new bugs and therefore may be more beneficial to have a specific version downloaded that is known to have few bugs. So if even after all that information, you are struggling to make the decision, I will would recommend starting with either the newest version, not the alpha or beta version, just the new stable version or the Steam version if you don't want to hassle with uninstalling and reinstalling. And once you have Blender downloaded, you can begin making your models, but make sure to avoid these five mistakes. Now go create something awesome.